What is up guys? I have no idea how to start this video other than just tell you that today I'm going to try to learn how to paint a car and what I'm going to train on is my Mark III Golf GTI. I could show you each panel and tell you why it needs to be repainted, but it just does. Clear coat peeling off, rock chips and like dents and scratches, whatever. So what I'm going to do instead of jumping straight into painting the whole car is take off the front fenders and paint them. But to do that, I first need to take care of some dents with a body, fill body filler. The dents are mainly because I wanted to cover the place where the antenna cap is for this for the golf and also I had the bottom of the fender redone because it was just rusted. I think this car deserves a little bit of love which is washing and I will do that because I never washed this car since I own it. I know it's bad. Before we start you can like the video, you can comment if you think that I have stupid ideas you can always comment if I, ha if, you, if I do something stupid, I'm just learning and I'd love your like help figuring out that stuff. Driving this car gives me so much pleasure that those, I don't know, 15-20 meters that I drove it, it already put the smile on my face. Make sure to stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna just summarize everything I've learned in this video. I left the car outside right now to dry. What I'm going to do when it dries is park it back in the barn and sand the panels before body filling it. I'm going to prime them, then body fill and then sand it smooth. We'll see how it goes because I never did it. It's hard to talk about something I'm doing for the first time, but I'm hoping that if you watch it, you're gonna learn on my mistakes as a newbie and avoid yours, hopefully. The car is back in the barn, dry. Now I'm going to sand the fender, which I'm covering. I bought 320, 240 and 180 grit sandpapers for orbital sander, I'm going, which I'm going to use. I'm not sure which grit is the best for that, but I'm going to experiment and see and tell you. So you don't have to buy three, you can just do one. Three twenty got like blacked really fast so what I'm going to try now is 240 and we'll see ah. okay 240 works better no surprises there um, but 240 blocked itself really fast as well. A slight change of plans because I originally thought that this orbital sander is like really shaky and hard to work with, but it's not. So I'm going to take the fenders off the car and drive it out of here.
that is super easy. There's just a lot of bolts. Fender is off, let's take care of another one. I cannot unbolt one bolt and I'm kind of scared why. Uh, it wasn't that bad as I thought. That was the issue. It's a fastener that holds the bolt and it's broken, it's rusted. That's why I couldn't like get the bolt out of this. I pried it a little bit, then it kind of worked. Now I can get the car out of here and have a little bit more space to work on the fenders. You can see rock chips right here, which I need to sand off so they don't show through primer. It goes through the paper like crazy. I gotta say that body work is not the simplest job in the world. It takes a lot of time and effort to do it correctly, do it right. We'll see if I figure out which, which tools are the best, if it gets any better. But until then, I can't really say that it's easy. I sanded the whole panel, it took forever. Right now I'm going to degrease it and prep it for primer. Now I'm going to mix the primer and paint the fender. Right now I'm going to put some body filler on the uneven spots on the fender and sand it smooth, hopefully. Then I'm gonna reprime it and start putting the color on.
All right, we got another day and I'm getting straight to it. So hopefully last sanding of the panel and then base in the clear. Crossed fingers. I really hope I'm gonna make it today. And yeah, that is going to be wet sanded right now. I don't know if it's good enough. Um, all I know it's not perfect, but um, I don't know if it's good enough. Okay, I'm super stressed right now because it's the go time. I didn't have enough paint for two goes, so I had to quickly make another portion. Um, so as it turns out, 100 milliliters is not enough for one panel. Um, I guess that another 100, I put another 100, but I think it's gonna be too much because that's just my luck. As you can see, the panel is covered pretty evenly, pretty nicely. I'm gonna do one more pass, focusing on those areas here. And crossed fingers, there's not going to be too many bugs or something like that because uh, yeah, I already see one and that's painting in the, the area like this one. So, well, I cannot be angry, but uh, we'll see the final result. I'm so stressed, my hands are shaking. I'm letting it dry and I, can't, I don't have too much time. I have to clean the paint gun um, because what binds together um, like bare panel and primer is mechanical adhesion, which means the scratches you make while, while sanding. Same goes for primer with base coat. They have mechanical adhesion. That's why base coat stays on the, on the panel, but you cannot sand base coat which means you have to like um you have to bind them other way and this other way is chemical adhesion you paint your clear coat on not fully dry base coat it's tacky and i have very little time to clean the gun and paint clear The clear coat clip was really short because the clear coat oversprays like crazy. It atomizes super huge and I didn't want to destroy my camera. But it's not that bad to be honest. Ugh. Um, yeah, there are downsides painting in this environment like a couple of like hair-ish stuff like dust and yeah but considering that i'm painting literally on the dirt it's very good literally dirt i put four coats of clear on this because i knew i'm gonna get some dust on it so i wanted to have this um layer extra layer to sand off like wet sand and then polish Right now it's time for wet sanding. I'm gonna start with 800 grit sandpaper and go finer. I'll see where I'll finish because I don't know yet. So it's learning experience. Okay. 
I have finished wet sanding and right now I'm just gonna let it dry and polish it. And then I'm gonna summarize everything and try to tell you a couple of steps and a couple of tips that of things I've learned during this painting process. Needs more wet sanding. I think I messed up a little because I wanted to wet sand the panel but I used too aggressive sandpaper in my opinion. I cannot polish it. I used 800 then 1000, 1800 and 2500 grit sandpapers and I'm still unable to polish that. Maybe it's me, um, maybe it's lack of experience or something else but I'm gonna fix it another time because I want to upload this video and right now let's summarize everything I did with this panel. First, first thing you've seen me do is take off the fender of a car and that is super helpful because you are able to sand it everywhere very easily and a machine does all the work for you if you have it then it's super convenient for you if you don't you're gonna have to add some elbow grease to that work because it's really time consuming i started with 320 grit sandpaper then went to 240 and i think 180 and to be honest if you wanna have like if you want to take off the old paint you have to go with even more aggressive which is 120 and that is very good for like orbital sander or whatever machine you have it's it works miracles it works really fast and that saves you a lot of time then it's very aggressive so after that i would advise you to take 180 and go once do once over just to smooth those deep scratches for priming the car i used like gray primer light gray primer with five to one proportions and i added 20 um percent of reducer to it to make it more like liquid ish and for my really small compressor right here and cheap amateur paint gun that was a relief because without the reducer or with 10 percent reducer reducer that paint was a pain to lay on and it went like a raptor coating or something like that but i it's a primer so it should be re relatively smooth after the primer i lightly sanded the surface where there were dents and added body filler i don't i've heard different opinions about body filler that you can put it all directly on metal and that you can't but i think it's not a bad thing if you don't so i didn't lay it over the metal i laid it over the primer then sanded everything smooth and reprimed everything then second primer was sanded again <laughs> with a 500 grit sandpaper and that was first mistake that I did it was too aggressive um, when I laid the base coat over it and then clear coat you could see that there are scratches from primer uh, from that 500 grit sandpaper so I would advise you to go um, 800 and it, it's a, it just works better because the scratches are finer and it's still um, aggressive enough that the base coat will stick to it and right now we are already at base coat stage which you have to lay really thin it shouldn't be thick because that's the, that's the thinnest layer and it cannot fully dry before you start putting clear coat on it and you are unable to sand it you are unable to do anything so this is crucial for your like paint job and after base coat is laid on then it's your clear which oversprays like crazy and the proportions okay 
for base coat I used one to yeah one to one proportions with uh, the base and the reducer and for clear I used two to one clear um, and hardener yep. after you lay down the clear coat you have to let it harden and that takes time I gave it a week and after that week it was hard enough to sand that I screwed up and then polish um, different products take different time periods to dry mine was supposed to be ready for everything for after 24 hours fully hardened but I gave it a week because I couldn't come here earlier w życiu nie gadałem tyle rzeczy na raz after you wet sand it you have to polish your panel with dual action or regular polisher machine polishing machine and then your panel is ready to put back on the car and now let's talk environment this is my barn this is the only place place I am able to work in and it's very dusty a lot of stuff got into the paint while I was painting so I don't have like greatest equipment here but I was able to get very good results if you want to do something for yourself that's I think it's good enough just now tip number one before spraying base and clear just get a hose and water everything down so the dust stays in its place which is the ground tip number two would be get something like a cardboard or I don't know plastic whatever just so you can practice um, on it the spray pattern everything like the settings just don't go straight into painting just like spray a little bit on whatever like I said cardboard you can get pretty good decent results with like a barn old comp like small compressor and old paint gun now whether it's your first time or not painting a car stay comfortable doing it take your time don't rush it it's gonna be good because whatever happens you can always repaint it again and repainting is what I'm going to do with this panel because I messed up way too many things and I just need it to be better. Now I hope you liked this episode, if you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, stay safe, hydrated, have fun and bye! Bye! bye.